Ladies and gentlemen, we have done this before. Have you have you ever heard of Deja Vu? Well, me and Mal have, haven't we? <laughs> He's a really nice guy, and we are friends on Facebook, and um, Mal's making a project. Can you tell us a little bit more about the project you're making? Yeah, my project is about how we can see positive things with Jewick and how we can enhance automation in this kind of city. Yep. So, yeah. So how we can make changes it. for other places in the world. Absolutely. How yeah. people can learn from us. Indeed. You, will you give me a copy of this story when you finish? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's do that. My yeah, friend yeah, yeah. Mal, his name is Mal, and he's making a project which he named when he met me, Shine on Jaywick. Right. Is that right? Exactly. So I'm going to film it as he films it. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. This is an interview as it's never been done. Shine on Mal, we love you. Me and my friends, we love you. Shine on. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. We love you, Mal. He's drinking my coffee, ain't yeah. you? Very good one, actually. He likes my coffee, Kenko, but don't tell the sponsors. Shh, they didn't pay me enough for that. Mal, should we get on with the interview? Let's do it. Right, let's put you here then. Brilliant. Oh, maybe I can just hold it because yeah. I don't mind holding it. I'm a, I'm a blogger. <laughs> right, so this is me and this is Mal, and we are going to do the interview. And we got Mal. <laughs> and we got me. <laughs> Shine on. So I'm going to hold it on Mal when he asks the question. And then I'm going to hold it on me when I give you the answer. Definitely. Mal's never, you've never done an interview like this before, have you? No, never, actually. No? It's my first time. So <laughs> it's, good, it's good to do things differently. Yeah, yeah right. You're all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally good with that. And he's thinking, I don't even get to move my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. We've got our own ways. Okay, Mal, I'm going to hand it over to you. Okay, let's do it. So um, my first question is quite simple, actually. Yes. I just want to ask you... What is going on in Jaywick? I heard a lot of things, I read a lot of things about the situation in Jaywick that is one of the most deprived cities in, uh, in the UK. Yep. But what I saw also, like, I saw like a very bonded community here. And I want to hear uh, a bit more about like your story okay. in Jaywick. I came to Jaywick in 1986, yeah. which was 32 years ago. I was 11 years old. And there was a big holiday camp in Clapton called Butlins. Yeah which shut two years before I moved here. I lived in Clapton for five years before I came here, and Clapton was thriving because of Butlins. But when Butlins shut, it was a downfall of Jaywick, because Jaywick was an overfill to Butlins. And all of the people that used to come on holiday to Butlins, their families and relatives used to come to Jaywick to, for their places. And it was a big holiday community, Clapton, Jaywick, and the surrounding areas. Yeah. And that was what it was all about. Yeah. But what went wrong was they shut Butlins. So the holiday towns don't have as many holiday people coming here anymore. So Jaywick went downhill because Jaywick was built as a holiday resort. There was lots of big nightclubs here, the Morocco, the Tivoli, the Sandys Club, the, Sh the Mermaid, and all these great nightclubs. They were built as dance halls. Because there was no holiday people coming, they all shut down. All of the, all of the food places shut, all of the Toulette holiday places went, all of the places that were for holidays went. So basically... Um, I've got to let that cat out. One second. <laughs> Go out then. Goodbye. Cool, it makes more noise than a dog. <laughs> Cats, eh? They're more powerful than dogs. So, yeah, so basically, it all went downhill after um, the holiday places shut. So, Jaywick has been trying to regenerate itself since the decline of the holiday industry. But Clatson's done really well. They've done loads with their peer. And there's loads of like in infrastructure going on there. It's gone really well in Clapton. Jaywick needs to be brought up to level two. We've had the roads fixed here. The council have done well. They sent six and a half million pounds fixing the roads. So that's a great start. Yeah. We just need them now to do more. We need them to like basically put some more holiday. Like basically, Jaywick's got the best beach in the world. But what we need is toilets on the beach. Yeah. There is no toilets for that beautiful beach, apart from one set down this end. So Jowick needs two, te two sets of toilets. One for the main part of the beach and then the, the set they've got here. So they've got half of it right, but the ones up there, they shut. And they need to replace them toilets because lots of people used to come to Jowick for the beach. Yeah, now, yeah. if there's no toilets there, what's that going to do to Jowick? Mm. Definitely. There's so Jowick, what we're fighting for right now is toilets for Jowick Beach. Plus we're fighting to get grants for the houses around here because a lot of them need work doing to them to bring them into line for like human habitation. So it's just the simple things that we need doing, you know? We need all the houses brought up to date. We need, we need the toilets put back on for the beach. 
So Ben, it can become a holiday place again. We need more people to do out their properties. We need more help with the younger people because there's a lot of younger people in Jaywick that want to get careers. But because they live in Jaywick, they've got to get a bus from Jaywick to Clacton. Then they've got to get a bus from Clacton to Colchester Star or to wherever. And that, that costs a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of time. Yeah. So people don't want to learn after they've done all that. And plus they haven't got the money to do that. So we need people to like fund the young people getting careers. And that will stop a lot of people smoking or drinking because that is the only option they got. And they're very good people and they want to work. And I am Jaywick for the last 32 years and I want to see them do well. And I want to help them do well and shine on. Perfect. Is that a good answer? Exactly, yeah. And that's why, I, I mean, what you said at the end is why I'm here actually too. Yes. Because why I come from France, what happened is exactly the same, you know. We used to have like huge industry there and everyone lived in this place because of this industry. And, and at a certain point they have decided to locate their industry in another country because they had no money left, you know. So the people were living in this city without no jobs, without nothing. Gotcha. And... Uh, but the thing is, a lot of them have moved from this city yes. because they needed to, you know, to survive in another place. It and sounds like it's a Jaywick. Exactly. And the thing that happened there is, it was super sad because it was a very great community. Okay. There. And they all live, so they split. They don't talk to each other anymore, you know. Right. And it's what I'm saying here. It's what, it's what I saw last weekend during the United Nations yes. meeting. I saw like a very bonding community yep. and it's what I want to do with this community. I want to make sure that, for example, the young people, y as yes. you said, have access to all the technologies. They don't. Like, they don't. No. And because of the government, because of what is happening. But because they, 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 they might be, there might be help for them, mm -hmm. but it's getting them to the help. Mm -hmm. We need help to get them to the help. The help is out there in Clacton, in Colchester, Ipswich, but we need help. We need extra grants, extra help to get these young people from the most deprived place to where the opportunity is. Then they can be plumbers, then they can be bricklayers, then they can be computer technicians, and then they can have a life. And these people, they're missing the boat because by the time they want to do it or they get a chance to, they're too old and people want younger people. Am I right? Definitely. So, so maybe you can help us. Yes, I'm here for this. It sounds like you're helping us. Yeah, yeah. You, your place and our place could work together to improve them and put, uh, if we make films about it, then international people will see what needs to be done. Because I'm telling them what needs to be done, as I'm telling you, as you're telling me. Definitely. Exactly. This is a pyramid. <laughs> it's from me to Mao to the government. And the three people involved in this video are me, Mao, and the government. And if the government listen to us, then we can fix Jaywick and where Mao lives. What's the name of your place? Uh, Tutri. Yeah. I love your accent, by the way. I know, mate. <laughs> it's a great accent. He's got a great accent, hasn't he? He's my mate. And we're going to go and visit you when we come to France next. Yeah, definitely. We love you, yeah. Mao. Yeah. So, yeah, carry on. I'm asking you the questions now. I better shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's meant to be asking me the questions. Shh. I do have fun. This is all we can do. Oh, yes. We love Mao. All after you, my friends. So, I have another question now. It's a bit like not linked to J Week, but more what you think of automation. Right. You know, like what is happening with the industry. Like they fire people because they found like uh, robots and yes. technologies to enhance their productivity. So they don't need the humans, you know. They don't need humans no more because the machines took over. Exactly. So, it's like the Terminator film. But exactly. But my point is saying like. Yes. I think like we should embrace this technology. I think we should embrace automation. I think it's a great thing, but it's just like the system where this technology is, which is not working. Yep. Which is not what what is not working is the way they use this technologies. And I'm sure like a community like Jay, we could use automation to bring more value to this place also. To, You're right. To create more 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 chance to have opportunities, to technologies, more opportunities, right? Yes. So yeah, I want to get your opinion on that. What what you think about all this? I think it would be amazing for Jaywick to be brought into the 21st century. I've been campaigning for this for years. I created the Jaywick Sounds Happy Club to give adults a youth club because they've been left behind. And I want to bring observations into this to give all of the adults and children the same opportunities that everyone else in the world can have. 
Why should people be picked on at school? Because they can't access digital things, but when them kids can. The kids are the same. They both got two arms, they both got two legs, but this kid's got more opportunity, this kid's got more money, but that doesn't make him better than that kid. So, and this is what Jaywick suffered with for years. I believe that Jaywick should have all of the digital stuff, all the technology should be brought to Jaywick to give everybody a chance. Even if they couldn't keep it in Jaywick all the time, they could get a van, like a, a mobile van. Yeah. They do it with the healthcare, and they go and do blood tests, and they go and do operations on people yeah. in an ambulance thing. Can't they have a digital ambulance yeah. that goes to deprived places and gives people use of the internet and whatever? I think there is places in Jaywick where people can go and access computers, but maybe there's more technology available. Maybe there's more things. Maybe the more deprived an area, the more digital more, and more things they should be entitled to. That's what I think. Definitely. I think Jaywick could That's definitely use... Actually. Yeah, I think Jaywick, if they can't basically build it for us here, then take us to it or bring it to us in a mobile van. Yeah. That's my answer. Does that work? It works very well. That's exactly how I see it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just being honest with you. I, I don't know how I'm meant to answer it, but... I answer it from my heart, and I believe that is the truth. It's exactly what I wanted to hear in a way. So, Thank you. That's where we're like. <laughs> That's why he likes me, because I'm honest. And it might not be what they want to hear, but they like it because it's real. And Mao is like me. When you make films and put yourself out there, you've got to be genuine and real, so you can never go over a mistake. Yeah. People that lie have to remember the lies. That's probably why they lie twice. But when you tell the truth all the time, you don't have to remember the truth, which means that you don't ever have to lie because you're always telling the truth. I'm right, and I? Indeed. That's why I don't tell lies, because that way I haven't got to go over it in a video. Yeah, exactly. Shine on. Shine on. <laughs> shine on. Yeah? yeah this man is going to say shine on to everyone you meet. Am I right? Yeah, definitely. Mal, I have taught Mal to say shine on. That is a good achievement. Mal, we love you. <laughs> Thank you. Too. He's a very nice man. If I knew it was Mal at the beginning, I would have said, Mal, I'll come and pick you up. But he's stubborn and he wouldn't let me. But don't you worry. I'm taking him to the Eldo bar on the way home to show him some Jaywick culture. And then I'm going to drive him to the train station. Is that all right? Exactly. My brother now. Are we going to work together? Yeah. Are we doing this project more than just today or just today? No, no, no. It's like it's one year project, actually. So I'll be seeing you again? Yeah. Luckily, I made this video then, weren't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first video. I will be meeting Mal many more times. Yeah. You're even wanting to come and stay the night and work on the project and get involved in the community. I'm doing a Christmas party on the 20th of December for the Jobbit community. Oh, perfect. Um, you're welcome to come to that from yeah. 6 till 9. Then we go to the Eldo Bar after. You can stay on my sofa after if you want. And also, I'm doing the Happy Club the first Thursday of each month, which is the next one's the 6th of December. But I am doing a special Happy Club I'm doing a special happy club on Friday coming because I'm doing a radio interview with a guy in Cambridge. Ah, oh, I can come actually. Well, I'll you're welcome. Come. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. We yeah. love Mal. Perfect. Our friend. <laughs> right, so, what you, what, um, did, I, did I answer the digital question? Yeah, yeah, I think it's fair enough. I just wanted to show you something. So this, just over there. Okay. What is this? It's uh, an artificial intelligence. You know, I'm sure like you heard about this. And... What? With this, so I'm like a, a human. It's kind of like this. Like I'm teaching to this uh, machine how to, how to, um, how to say that. Teaching like how we can automate a job later on. So you this know? is you're basically teaching this to do a human's job. Exactly. For a good wow. purpose. Wow. This is AE, AI. <laughs> exactly. This is Jude Law. <laughs> this is that film, you know, where the, we talk to you, the computer. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you like the way I put it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to be blunt, ladies and gentlemen. And, and just, I wanted to talk to you. I don't know if yes. you know these guys, but I'm sure you know like them. This. So it's an orchestra, which is in Clacton. Right. The Clacton Orchestra. No, I, I don't know. I might walk with those guys to create a concert with them. Okay. And This all, is going to do one of the jobs. All the composition will be made by this machine. So, so not a human, a machine. Exactly. And my point is to say like, we can, we can in a way replace human, but for good purpose. So the idea is to create a concert with this. Yes. And to create value to Jaywick and Clacton on C because of this. This is great. I love it. So this, it's is, just to, this is a new idea. Yeah. And it works. But what about humans? Will humans not have no jobs no more? The idea is like, 
it's just going to collaborate with human to go, to do like greater jobs. So it's not to say like let's replace human. Yeah. Let's work with. But those one machines. day they could replace humans. Sorry. One day they could replace humans. Yeah, that's exactly what they are doing right now. So these films that we've been watching, these Arnold Schwarzenegger films, they're coming true. <laughs> are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. They're coming true. Sci that's why we like sci-fi, because it could be a reality. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we could do with some of these for people that are on the front line, like people that stand in the middle of the roads in traffic and that, them sort of things. They could be better as robots than people, yeah. Yeah. where people risk their lives. Yeah, absolutely. So when are you doing this? I love it. Yeah, so I'm doing this just to make my point, you know, to yeah. say like automation is wrong. But if we create automated system for a good purpose to help people, yep. now it's good. I like now it. everyone use, should know it and use it. I like it. So how, how can, I, can, can I come and see you when you use put this yeah, in operation? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, I love it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> he looks good. I'm going to name him Shine On. <laughs> shine On, Shine On. Every day and night. Shine on, shine on, right. every day and night. Shine on the robot. And if he's called Shine On, he should shine on. <laughs> I, what's he looking at? Look. <laughs> he looks like a little human, doesn't he? Yeah, he's right, yeah. Hello, <laughs> my name's Danny, and I have learnt to shine on. And even though I come from the most deprived place in Britain, I make the most out of what I've got. And I am not lazy. I think people that have a lot of money don't do as much as what they could do. So what I do do is what I can do is what I do do, people. And we shine on. Yay! <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. That's it. Is that, uh, is that the interview? It was all my question, yeah. Well, I want to ask more... Um, don't you want to know about the Happy Club or nothing, or nothing like that? No, I don't know. If you have like, anything else to say about this, I think like... I sh I feel like it would take more time, but I get everything I wanted to have. So because I'm a good, I'm a good person to interview. Yeah, definitely. Well, then we call that the end of the interview. We love you, Mal. Thanks a lot. Let's have a cuddle on film. <laughs> this is my brother Mal, and we Thanks. are working together on a project called Shine On Jamie. Right. Bye, Matt. Nice to meet you, Mal. Yeah, nice to meet you. What a nice Thank man. You. And if you want to see the videos, this is where. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Perfect.